Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you found us here on YouTube and have joined our tribe of survivors. And uh, we, we're all getting so involved in the comments. I absolutely love reading your guys' comments. So uh, be sure to leave me one. Uh, I'm gonna try and read all of them even though I can't respond to them. And uh, yeah, we're over 10,000 subscribers now and I'm so, like I'm choking up. <clears throat> and I'm so grateful to all of you um, as we're all helping each other in our recovery from narcissistic abuse. And you know, they're, the patterns are so much alike. It's just so amazing to me. You know, how when we first meet the narcissist and that we get love bombed so quickly and been told and feel like we're with our soulmate and we mold our lives together completely thinking this is perfect and, uh, and like now they're using the term twin flame out there right we found our other half of our soul type feeling when we are first with the narcissist and then we go through this devaluing stage now I remember something now it's been a few years since I had broken up with um, my ex but I remember something vividly now and it should have been a red flag but the thing is he hit it on me and what that was is you know narcissists feel very entitled to us like they feel like everything we do should be for them they really just automatically feel this pretty much about everybody they feel entitled to everyone's time, everyone's money, everyone's praise, and they really, they don't have it within themselves to give it up unless they're making an investment to make you the main supply, or they'll put in an investment into it if they think they can get something out of you later. But for us, you know, we, the whole love bombing was to mold us and mold our lives together so they can drain us completely to really hold them up because they cannot stand on their own and they can't let anybody know this that's why they wear a mask if if the world were to know that these people are hollow and cannot produce really anything on their own uh, you know that's like devastating to their ego and I remember looking back i had a really good job i was working for a bank i was doing corporate lending it was it was somewhat of a high stressful job but a well-paying job with full benefits like it was it was really good and he was a fitness trainer you know but money didn't mean that much to me um you know and he was one of the best i thought fitness trainers out there and that's how i met him so Whenever I got like a promotion at work or I got a bonus or anything good happened to me, you know, he praised me so much on me, you know, how beautiful I was, all this stuff. But if there was something outside of that, like in the world, like my job, he, he didn't praise me for it. He doesn't want me to be successful that doesn't also make him successful almost. You know, like I remember getting these promotions and I was proud of them. And it was weird how it just kind of rolled off of him. Like he, he never spent any time really congratulating me or even focusing or talking about it. But if there was anything else that, you know, we did together uh, that we got success out of or something that I did to help him, you know, get successful or us be successful, it was so over the top praise. You know, because they, a narcissist wants, doesn't want you to be strong on your own. Everything that you do needs to be for them. And that's what they're constantly focusing on. So if you look back at your relationship, when you should have saw these red flags, they're very hard to spot sometimes. But if you recall, every time something good happened to you outside of your relationship that was just for you, it almost 
it just kept it just went on by without recognition for them they purposely don't spend any time recognizing it because it has nothing to do with them and they're completely ego driven and so but if you do anything that is successful for you and them well then yeah it's, it's completely over the top and this is something that at the time I didn't recognize and I should have, or I wish someone had told me to look out for these signs of the behavior of a narcissist and and how they need to be fed in this type of way because they don't want you to be happy without them. They don't want you to be successful without them because that doesn't fuel them in any way you know and that's why a lot of us end up like I ended up quitting my job in order to like all of that work that I had put in as um, a lender a corporate lender which was very stressful in a high-end job I had to I quit it because he wanted and I see this now he wanted me to take all those skills and the know-how of running businesses and and apply it to him and it was I completely fell for it and a lot of us do I mean everyone it's easy for you know other people to judge and say oh you should never quit your job for a man or you should never you know you should always be your own person well then you <laughs> the people that say that and there probably will be some people that say that in the comments but the people that say that have been, been with these evil narcissistic people that did this to us when we were also being still love bombed and we thought we were with our twin flame soulmate and that they convinced us that they're sacrificing if just as much if not more for the relationship so when they have you um in that space well for us to quit our jobs for them to go on a, an endeavor for them almost seems petty compared to what they're putting in or what they're perceiving to put in right and and that's something that you all of us I think that had gone that far with a narcissist and got love bombed so much and we sacrificed so much just to look back on it and look at them as systematically um, kind of taking away our strengths and the who we are and just so we would put all of our efforts into them all of our know-how into them and then when they were done with us then they discarded us and moved on to another person to do that exact same thing too so it's very that's why we're so broken when the discard happens because it wasn't just a regular breakup this was you know the, like our jobs our careers are something really that form us that make us who we are and the narcissist will come in and destroy that part of us sometimes you know and only and only people that are like members of this tribe that people that have been in these relationships know the destruction that we all went through when we were under the cloud of deception from someone that we thought we loved or someone that we thought we had the soulmate for and that makes it even more devastating because we all hate to admit how much we loved that person but it wasn't our fault that, that you know we were we were our victim and they were this predator that did something to us so if you're if you're out there and you're still with the narcissist or if you don't know that this person is a narcissist and you're looking for the signs um, when it goes towards your career and if they can't be happy for your successes outside of the relationship uh, that's a that's a big red flag that's a sign that they are out to capture anything good about you to drive it towards them because your successes in your career are, are driven to the outside world not them and so they don't want that they want you to somehow turn whatever success you have in the world towards them so it'll be their success and this is something that can be very hard to spot and this is something that will look a little bit differently in everyone's relationship but the fundamentals are there 
It's all going to be about them to drive their ego and to use us as a tool for their success, for their gratification, you know, and and this is something that they're very completely aware of and they're ready to completely discard us after they have received all that they can from us in this regard. So it's um, it's something that I've realized and I've had to kind of make peace with that. And I've had to take it as a life lesson because it was it was one of those things that was so damaging but I uh, you know I can't I can't just make that part of my life just not happen Um, you know you still have to deal with it and repair it and you know despite whatever you uh, do as a career um, in your next relationships or even if you see a friend or a family member and they're thinking about doing uh, an unreasonable sacrifice that they think is a good idea. Like they, Remember, when you're being love bombed, you're blind to this red flag. You really will be. So this also will help other uh, people in your life that you might suspect uh, that is with a narcissist because uh, that one was really... I defended that decision to quit my job for a long time, even after the discard and the breakup, I still defended that decision because because I, I other people were trying to tell me uh, you're crazy. Uh, this is a great job. You got full benefit. You know, everyone everyone in my family was t- approaching me that I was making a bad decision, not because they didn't have faith in me that I could be successful elsewhere. But because I was making this decision for someone else, uh, you know, like, so it was a, I, yeah, I did not want to admit that, that I made such a wrong choice. And maybe it wasn't a wrong choice. I don't know, because so much time has passed. And of course, you know, I run other businesses now and I've, I'm doing so many more things that I, I might not have done if I hadn't quit my job then. Or maybe I would have gotten promoted more and, and I don't know. You, you don't know. You know, we, we, we don't know <laughs> what, what would have happened if, but I have to accept where I am now. And we all do. But it gets better, guys. It gets better. And the more communication we have like this and the more people we talk to and about all these little facets and details, the better we can all be together to heal and to never let something like this happen to us again right this is one of those signs so thank you so much guys for listening i appreciate all of you thank you so much for the 10,000 subscribers i'm glad that you found us here on youtube and have joined our tribe as survivors post narcissist